All right, so here is the very rare Drake model MSR-FM or forward slash FM-P communications receiver. And um, this is a commercial grade receiver that uh, was made by Drake and extremely expensive. Uh, I believe a little bit over $5,000 new. And um, so you just don't see a lot of these around. Uh, I'm trying to get the lighting on here a little bit better if I can. It's not easy to do. But um, this is what they look like. Let's see if I can get on the S meter there. And uh, with the light out, <laughs> you'll see. There we go. Ta da! Kind of a cool looking, I'd say very cool looking receiver. Uh, this particular one is not uh, working properly. I got this uh, just recently. And um, it's, I don't know how to uh, repair these types of things. <laughs> it's a little beyond me. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it out of the collection and let somebody else uh, look it over. Uh, it has a copy of the manual right there, as you can see. And um, it's, uh, it appears complete. Um, I haven't read too much on this receiver. Uh, I'll turn the light back on. There we go. But uh, I do know that you can, here's your your uh, kilohertz uh, here you can change by going up and down here you can see they're uh, nixie tubes they're called and you can see it goes up and down and uh, so forth if you want to change this one you go like that change that one you go like that change that one you go like that so that's how you get around the frequencies and uh, so kind of nifty uh, the different modes you have uh, am Sideband CW FM, and then here is um, your other, this would be your filtering, I imagine. Well, lower sideband, upper sideband, ISB, I don't know. And then there's your, I guess, bandwidth possibly uh, of the, the 6.0, 1.2, and 0.3. You've got RF tune. This is a noise blanker, which actually works. Uh, fast AVC, and these just simply pull out like that. That's how they are engaged. RF tune. And uh, this is a dial lock, so you can set it where you want it, lock in the dial, of course, squelch over there, and BFO, RF gain. Uh, but it's not receiving. It, um, it almost works. It wants to. Um, it does, um, let's see. Well, let's see if I can get a frequency here. I was messing around with it earlier. I think it was on 80 meters. So you can kind of hear it come up with the RF tune. And, uh, but, oh, there we go. There's sideband. So there's uh, upper sideband, lower sideband. You can hear the, I don't know what ISB is. There's the other. So filtering wise, that all seems to work. Um, but. RF gain, I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> so anyways, you can see it will go up and down in the frequencies. These last two digits did not come on when I first turned this on. But after uh, sitting for a while, they popped up. So don't know. <laughs> but it's working right now as far as uh, the display goes. But it needs repair, and so we're going to sell this as is. But um, these are quite the receiver if uh, you can get it to work. <laughs> it's rack mountable, as you can see, and has the rack handles and everything there. It's uh, fairly substantial in size. Of course, it's a 19-inch rack it would go in. And I'm going to guess it's close to 5 inches tall. Maybe not quite, but about that. 4.5 to 5 inches. And a bit deep. We'll, we'll get the dimensions later. So, there is my rudimentary <laughs> video of the communications receiver, the model MSR forward slash FM dash P, which means this one has FM in it. The Drake made another receiver very similar to this, extremely similar, but it did not have the FM in it, I don't believe, and it had a front firing speaker. This does not have a speaker built in, so you'll need an external speaker. But um, that's it, the Drake MSR FMP receiver.